Hi folks, welcome to The Prepared Homestead. This is Travis, thank you all for stopping by to watch. So I wanna make kind of a part two video or follow up or whatever you wanna call it on what I talked about in earlier today in my first video for today. And yes, it is about the potential ruling uh, from the Supreme Court to overturn Roe v. Wade. Um, I, I went into kind of details of my opinions in the previous video, and so I won't go into that in this video. If you want to go and watch that one, please do. Uh, this particular video, I want to focus more on, and I, I talked about it in the pr previous one, but I want to focus more on the very real possibility that this could be the trigger that sends us as a, as a nation over the edge and when it comes to civil unrest and very possibly a civil war. Um, I know this has been talked about for the last few years, you know, oh, civil war, civil war. I've made videos on it, uh, uh, different things that come up. I cannot think of another single um, issue. Uh, and, and it's not just my opinion. I have seen other people say the same thing currently and in the past that there's probably not one single issue that would cause a civil war to happen more quickly uh, than the overturning of Roe v. Wade. Uh, it is, for whatever reason, and well, I say whatever, I know what the reason is, but I'm not going to go into it in this video. Um, the left looks at that as their their holy grail of what they of what they. Uh, are and what they can do and and what they believe, uh, Roe v. Wade and what has happened because of that, and that is the one thing. I mean, they can protest about people getting, you know, beaten up and killed by cops. Uh, they can protest, you know, other issues all the time, you know, the environment, saving the trees, saving the whales, and everything. But there is not one issue that I can personally think of that the, the far left and the globalists don't look upon with any greater reverence uh, than, th than the Roe v. Wade and, and abortion. Um, I, I could certainly see uh, the possibility of a civil war happening because of that. Uh, and, and this is all assuming that the, the leaked report uh, comes to, to reality and, and the, civil, uh, the Supreme Court does overturn uh, Roe v. Wade. Um, but it's not just me. There's an article here uh, from The Guardian, and this author that's, uh, that wrote this article, he actually uh, has written a book, The Second Civil War or Civil War 2.0 uh, here in the United States, and, and he believes that, that this ruling could cause major civil unrest. The Sun, which is not the most reputable news source, I get it, uh, but they're also talking about it. Um, if you get on Twitter, and you look at what the the left is saying. I mean, they are absolutely irate. They're they are calling for all out revolution. They're calling for civil war. Um, I've seen posts uh, talking about using a, a conservative uh, a quote. Um, you know, the tree of liberty. Uh, it's a time to refresh the tree of liberty. They they want this, and I can't think of a single issue that would cause uh, widespread civil unrest than this one. More than this one. And so the point to this video, and I, I'll try to make it short because I've been making some long ones here lately. This one could happen. Um, the whole Summer of Love, BLM protests, protests, um, that happened predominantly in inter, inner city areas. I mean, it did certainly bleed over into um, suburban areas and, and, and it wasn't always in the big city, but predominantly. I think you'll all have to agree with that one. Predominantly, it was in the big cities and in the urban, uh, you know, areas. This could be different, okay? Uh, this could happen in your small town. Uh, people that, and especially, especially, and if you watched the video I made earlier, I showed a map of states that have trigger laws that if Roe v. Wade is overturned, um, that there are certain states that have laws in the books that will step in and 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 outlaw or greatly restrict abortions in that state, especially in those states. Um, there's definitely, I mean, there's there's no state so conservative uh, that you're not going to find people that are uh, supporting Roe v. Wade. 
Uh, it, they're going to be everywhere and in, in, in certainly more concentration in some areas, but they're everywhere. And so the possibility of there being civil unrest, of there being protests that, you know, become something more than protests, um, I think it's a real possibility. If you live anywhere near things like a Planned Parenthood uh, and your state law shuts them down, I mean, I would, I would be a little bit uh, concerned of the possibility of civil unrest there. Um, this is something that we've probably not been focused too much on because of all the other stuff that, that we're preparing ourselves for, that we're getting ourselves ready, that we've got our, you know, our peepers fixed on uh, because, you know, we're worried about World War Three. We're worried about, you know, global famine and food shortages and supply chain disruptions and all that. And so I think a lot of us have put the Civil War on the back burner. Um, that has always been a strong possibility of what brings about the fall of this nation. Uh, it's, it's, I don't think that I've ever not considered that as a strong possibility. As, as nations start to crumble, as civilizations collapse, the possibility of civil war becomes far greater. Uh, and it just grows and grows the more the, the nation is, is losing its hold, the more the nation loses its grip of morality, the more the nation, uh, the government of the nation loses respect. Um, and, and the more that people are just, they're just upset because of everything wrong. And if you take that and you add to by this summer, even more uh, higher prices on products and the possibility of shortages in food, uh, you put it all together, you're going to have a very disgruntled and upset um, people. And then you throw this on top of it, uh, the possibility of serious, real civil unrest to the point of there being a civil war, even if it's not widespread, even if we start seeing civil war level violence in certain areas of the country, I think that's a possibility. I'm not saying that it's it's going to happen everywhere, and I did a video on this quite a while back talking about why a lot of people think that civil war is never going to happen in the United States because for Americans, our visual concept of a civil war is the previous one, okay, where you have two standing armies, you know, marching, opposing each other and fighting back and forth. That's almost always not how civil wars happen. Uh, in fact, what Americans are taught that's called the Civil War was actually a war between two opposing nations that had two standing armies. And so it was much more of just a war between nations. Um, civil wars are typically much dirtier. Uh, they're typically urban warfare, guerrilla warfare. Um, you, can, you can certainly do your own uh, historical research into areas of, of you know, the continent of Africa, uh, Asia, uh, South America. There's all kinds of civil wars that happen from time to time and that are currently happening right now. Uh, and you'll get a better idea of what a civil war will look like, where one part of the country is pretty much functioning as normal and the other part isn't. And you could even have it within a state or even within a large city. You know, you could live in a in a large city and in your neighborhood and your side of town is functioning pretty normal. And the other side of town, it's complete, you know, it, it, complete violence. Very much like what we saw two years ago during the summer of love, but just on a on a grander scale. Uh, that's what civil wars typically look like. Uh, they don't they don't look like what we what we were taught in our history books of what the American Civil War uh, what it looked like. That's just not what it's going to look like. So everyone's like, wow, you know, what army is going to rise up to oppose the U.S. Army in this civil war? It's not going to work like that, folks. Um, it, it's just not because nine times out of 10, that's not what a civil war even looks like. Uh, so when you, when you start to realize what a civil war actually looks like and, and how it functions most of the time, that could very easily happen in the United States. You go, again, going back to two years ago with the, the riots and stuff. Uh, if you took that, because at that time, that was uh, one opposing side kind of just causing mayhem and, and havoc, and and some of it was directed towards the government, and some of it was just, just, to, just to disrupt uh, the cities. 
if you had that and another opposing side to where they were actually fighting each other, and we did see that a little bit, and in fact, the, the whole Kyle Rittenhouse case is, a, is part of that, where you have two opposing sides that were armed, and we saw how that worked out. If you had that on a wider spread scale in a lot of these cities, that's where you're going to start seeing what looks like a civil war. This issue, I'm not saying it's going to be the one. I'm not saying that that's where we're headed, that we're, we're, we're going to see a civil war out of this. I'm just saying that this one issue, I think, is definitely big enough to get us to that point. And if that's true, even if it happens on a smaller scale, adding that to all the other things that are going on. And again, folks, as I've repeated many times on this channel recently, it is the recipe for a perfect storm. Um, get ready, folks. Get yourselves prepared. If the Supreme Court rules, on, even if they don't, re regardless of what happens, this issue is certainly not going to go away. There's already talk of stacking the court. There's talk about, you know, B Biden has already said about trying to push a bill through through Congress to 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 fix this. Um, this isn't going to go away. And if Roe v. Wade is overturned, and if you start seeing several states, which they're already saying, South Dakota is one of them, is already saying that as soon as it's overturned, they're going to start working on legislation uh, in their own state. If you start seeing that, um, the left, they're going to lose their minds. They've already, they're, the, the whole nation is already on edge between the, the health crisis between the economy, the food, just the general tension in this country that's been happening for now for a few years. It, it, it this this is this is a a straw that broke the broke the camel's back kind of thing. And it's bigger than just a straw. Uh, when you already have a nation that is so divisive that, that there's so much division in this country, way more than there ever has been. Uh, and, and to the point that it's not just you don't like that person because it's a p political position. It's because you hate that person. You want to do harm to that person. We see this all the time online. And you add all of this up together. It is a recipe for disaster. Again, I'm not saying it will happen. But I'm saying there's a strong possibility. And so, folks, this is one of those things we have to get ready I mean, for all we know, this could happen way sooner than World War III with Russia. Um, as we saw two years ago with the George Floyd case, it kind of spiraled out of control pretty quickly. Uh, and so if a ruling comes from, from the Supreme Court in the next few days, which it very likely could happen, that's what everyone is saying, um, the possibility of just within days seeing um, you know major major civil unrest across the nation is quite the possibility. So uh, this isn't something to get ready for off in the distant future. This is something you need to prepare yourself for now, especially those of you that live in more larger areas, urban and suburban areas in your bigger cities, because that's going to be the places it hits first. Uh, but everyone should be watching for this. All right, folks, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.